Welcome, welcome. My name is G. You're watching All Astrology, and we are picking up with Mercury Part 2. Mercury is going through a retrograde, but it's not Mercury going through a retrograde alone. Mercury is also going through a retrograde while Mars was retrograding. So Part 1, Part 2, and we, yes, will have a Part 3 because there's a lot to dissect, a lot to uncover, and it requires a deep dive. So we're going to pull up the chart and we're going to take a look. I will cover just some of the basics of part one, so I will connect that video down below. Be sure to check it out if you're concerned um, about Mercury and its retrograde and what it means in your life. For each and every one of us, some of the things I will cover right here at the beginning is it's happening in Capricorn. And Capricorn energy is my goals and my ambitions for the long term. You know, we got your short range term goals. This is long term. And this is your job, your work, your professional career. It can also be a vocation, meaning it's something you're like, God, I really like doing this. And it, it just, I feel good when I'm doing. I feel like, like, like I know what I'm doing, you know, and I just don't know if I could actually make money at it. So it's something you just kind of chip away at and you still do it because it's like a vocation. It's a place in your life where you kind of feel empowered when you're doing whatever that is that you're doing. Like for me, astrology, um, many, many years of just looking at charts for other people and just kind of loving it, you know, and, and thinking, well, I never really thought about it. it you know, it wasn't until, um, yeah, it wasn't until I had no other options. I could no longer do what I used to do where I was like, well, what are you going to do? You know? And so it was like, Hmm, I guess I could, go on YouTube and talk about astrology because I love talking about it and like, how do I do that? Right. So it puts us in a place where we're usually possibly thinking, I don't know how to even accomplish it. I don't know what steps to take to get there. Right. Because it's something different. It's, it's different, but not, which is what's crazy. So as Mercury's retrograding, it's thinking. And it's like, okay, I'm thinking about this and I'm thinking about that. It wants options. Just in general, Mercury wants, wants options. So if you're not necessarily making a career shift, like a completely different career altogether, uh, maybe you're looking just play basically better income, better or some benefits, I should say, right? Mercury is going to be there to present options. And so we are thinking and rethinking and then having to look at the fine print, like, okay, what are the expectations at this place? What are the expectations with this? And and can I do that for the long term? Like, is that realistic? Because Capricorn is serious. It thinks long term. It's all about time, 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 time. Capricorn rules time. And normally it's something that takes a long time. There's no quick race to fame. It, it's more like work by piecemeal, methodically, just a little bit at a time. We're climbing that ladder little bit at a time, right? So that's Capricorn energy and that's Mercury in Capricorn, thinking about my long-term goals and ambitions, my responsibilities, my duties. We are very serious with our Capricorn energy. So where is Capricorn in your life? What house is it in, in your chart? And if you don't know and you want to know, comment below. If you don't have your own chart, what are you waiting for? You don't have to know anything about astrology. You just get the chart and begin. You got to put your toe in the water and that's how you do it because nothing's going to be more interesting than having your own chart in your hand or listening to somebody talk to you about your own chart. You follow? So now let's dissect this chart even deeper by pulling in this chart here and I'm going to have my cursor on. Um, actually, we're going to do it better. Here's the number eight. Now, I'm just going to stay small on this chart. I'm not going to blow it up too big because there's so many charts here. So the, the part one uh, was the inner ring, okay? The inner ring was when the Mercury retrograding Capricorn began, right? And so that was December 29th. Yeah, end of December is when it began. And that is the inner ring. So that is technically this really itty-bitty ring that you see here. See how small this ring is, right? It's tiny. It's on the inside. It's hard to read. So there's no reason to go real big on that. Uh, and again, that's covered all in part one. But if I go and look for it, we see that Mercury went to 24 degrees because it's in red. And there's Mercury. Yep. 
and it's right next to Venus. Look at that. They're both together at 24. So that's where the Mercury retrograde began. And Venus is about my values, my money, how I receive right? My income, it can be my love, but because it's in Capricorn, Venus is serious. She's like, wait a minute. Venus is thinking about her tangible assets here, assets, right? And values. And it's Venus and Mercury, the sisters, feminine energy together. And they're both serious. They're both thinking about the long-term goals and ambitions. They're setting their priorities. They are understand it's not going to be something quick, but it's worth working for is Capricorn. It's serious. It's my duty and my responsibilities. Okay. So now we're going to go to the next ring, which is this one, the second ring you see here. Okay. And so now I'm going to put this little arrow away and I'm going to leave it there because that's when Mercury retrograde began. And we're going to start off with a new arrow and it's this one right here. We're going to move it over here and go to January 18th, 2023. That is the middle ring. It's when Mercury retrograde ends. Retrograde just means Mercury was moving backwards. So if it's no longer moving backwards, it has to first stop. It stands still and then it moves forward again. That's the way retrogrades work. Let's find Mercury. Mercury began at 24. Remember on the first chart? Oh, I drew an extra line. I didn't need that. Mercury began at Oh, come on now. There we go. Like, play along, 24. And so we go look for Mercury again. You see Mercury? Right there. That's Mercury. And look what the degrees it's at. Eight degrees and eight minutes. And it's not in red anymore because the retrograde ended, right? Red is retrograding going backwards. Black, solid color, black, it is now going forward. So that happens at eight degrees, January 18th, 2023, Mercury stands still. Now let's take a peek and see what else is going on in the chart. Cause it's still in Capricorn. So it's Mercury thinking about her options. Mercury can present as a masculine and a feminine energy. It's the twins, right? Masculine and feminine, but just understand that it has been presenting uh, much more feminine as of late the past few years because of the imbalance in general of the energies. There's just a lot of patriarchal, strong masculine energies. So we've got the feminine energies rising up to create a balance. The matriarch is a balance, okay? Uh, and so Mercury is paying attention to the goals and the ambitions. This is government business. This is big businesses, right? These are long-standing structures of our society. Uh, there were some great examples in another video when I said, can you give me examples of, of things that are long-standing structures, like physical buildings or um, just organizations, right? Businesses. So we think of the post office that always pops in my mind right away. Uh, the, our government and the way that it's set up in those buildings, right? We think of all the historical buildings, the Capitol building. Um, and then we also can think of like, there's long standing structures. You might think of hospitals, possibly the buildings themselves. Uh, what are some other examples? I wish I could think of them right now, but I can't. There were some great examples in the other videos. Put them in the comments below for me. But yeah, physical structures that have been around for a long time and that probably are quite old because that's Saturn, quite old. It's a very serious, a very old thing because it's the tangible and the material, but it's built to last a long time. It's not supposed to be a throwaway. It's something that's built of high quality. I think of the CCC. Does anybody know who the CCC is? Uh, I know Boondocking with Dennis in his videos on his journeys. He goes to a lot of the uh, state uh, parks and the park system in different states. And um, the CCC built a lot of, of the shelter areas and just the buildings themselves that the rangers live and stay in on the park sites. And so these structures, you can see the quality in them. They're still standing and they look like they're going to last forever. And that was the whole point. And that is an example of a, a long-standing structure the for in Illinois, the forest preserve system and those structures. But when you go to the state parks, you'll see those beautiful stone buildings that they made. Uh, and it was high quality and it was through a government program, right? To get people back to work, right? So if you know more about it, please comment to me below and teach me a little bit more about that. Um, and so, yeah, that's an example, right? And so that's what Mercury's doing. It's thinking, 
What are my options? What are my choices for the, for the long term? And your solution to figure out what else she's thinking about is what house is she doing that in? So in this chart, the example is Mercury's here at eight. So it's in this person's sixth house of their daily routines, jobs, duties, tasks, possibly health involved. And then Mercury also, right? Look where it began or where it's going to end. It's going to end in their seventh house. For, so for this example chart, Mercury is going to be doing uh, its rethinking of options and choices in this person's sixth and seventh house. So six jobs, routines, possibly health, possibly pets, and then seventh house significant one-on-one -on -one relationships. This is marriages. This is business partnerships, people you're willing to compromise for. Okay. So that's how you get more details to find out how this Mercury retrograde uh, plays out in your life and what area of your life. So below the video, I'll have all the degrees for those of you who like to pay attention to the degrees in your chart. Again, if you don't know and you want to know, just comment below.